What's up Aquarius? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of May. This is for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. And if you are new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I'll put the links to those in the description box as well. On the point of personal readings, guys, I'm going to be traveling from next week and I'll be based out of LA for the next couple of months or so. Um, the reason why I'm bringing it up is for my regular clients and those who have booked in before. If you go to book, you may notice that my availability and the times are a little different to what they normally are. And that's just because I'm going to be in a different time zone. So hopefully you'll be able to still find a time that works for you from wherever you are. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of May. Any love messages for my Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of May. Oh, the star card Aquarius, that's your energy. The eight of cups, the five of cups. All right. The queen of swords, also you and a king of cups. Okay, Aquarius. Well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I mean, this could be you feeling like you need to honor a truth here in a situation where you do feel an emotional bond with someone, but there seems to be some stuff that needs to be left behind or the situation has you feeling like maybe you want to leave it behind. There's a lot of sadness here. I mean, five of cups, five of cups is like loss, regret. Now, for some of you, you're dealing with a situation where you or this person or both of you have carried a lot of baggage from the past into this situation. And that could be what is causing difficulty because the star card means there's hope here. Um, or you've been holding on to hope for the situation, but the, the star card is also the card of healing. So like there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. So eight of cups, what's not working? Can we, can we walk away from what's impacting on the situation or do we just walk away altogether? And this is hard energy. I mean, five of cups is sad. There's loss here. Um, let me get a little bit on this eight of cups, the four of pentacles in the reverse. It's like Something here, you know, you or this person or both of you are, are holding on very tightly to things and it could be impacting on the situation. Either you're holding on to resentments between the two of you or you're holding on to, like I said, past issues that are maybe not so much an ind indication of the present or um, shouldn't be impacting on the present, you know, especially if there's old wounds. Um, tell me about this Four of Pentacles in the reverse, the Page of Cups in the reverse, childhood wounding. Page of Cups in the reverse and Five of Wands. It's causing a drama or a conflict here. I mean, for some of you, um, a child is in the mix or otherwise with that Page of Cups in the reverse and the Five of Wands, someone feels the other one is emotionally immature. I mean, again, Cancer Pisces energy, um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, but the Page of Cups also, it can be a little bit insincere or emotional manipulation. Maybe some of you feel that about this person or just that what they're offering is, is childish. The way that they express themselves is childish. There could be issues around communication, Queen of Swords. Now, we have been in Mercury retrograde. It's going direct this week. So pretty much actually around the time when this is going live, but, um, or next week, sorry, yeah. But there's, there's struggle here. And I think that the struggle may be about communication, honest communication, Queen of Swords, when she, holds back or she lacks boundaries, she can just get quite harsh and quite cutting. Um, you know, the King of Cups is in the upright. So I do think this person has the capacity to feel quite deeply and that the love is real, but there's a lot getting in the way here. I mean, five of wands, so drama, conflict, there could be outside energies that impact. Now the outside energies may be past energies. It may not even be people in the present. Or for some of you, you feel like there is competition here, competing interests. Could be family. I mean, it doesn't have to be a romantic interest, but there's a harshness here, okay? So what's this star card? 
Ace of Pentacles, there's still hope here. So there's hopes to renew the connection, Ace of Pentacles, to get on the same page, to really commit or to recommit, but something needs to be let go of. Perhaps it's like, you know, a bit of a, an ego thing, you know, um, maybe both of you need to be right or you can't just get on the same page or you both struggle to kind of just let go, right, of whatever it is that impacts but also if there's things between you it's like maybe you both hold on to that and it creates a lot of a, a real blockage okay and hurt feelings three of swords now some of you are taking a break or you, you're separating or separated from this person but like i said it seems to be that there's opportunity to renew whether you decide to do that or not i don't know i'm going to get cards on this person and their feelings and intentions there there's there's a lot of hurt feelings here around maybe not feeling recognized, not feeling seen, not feeling heard. And that could be coming from a pattern maybe that you have Aquarius. Maybe you have difficulty expressing your needs. That could be a wound. That could be a childhood wound. That could be something from your past that's impacting on the present. Um, maybe you trigger each other's wounds. You know, someone here just feels very unrecognized. They feel undervalued. There's a lack of success here. So on one hand, there's a, there's a hopelessness, but then there's a hope, right? Um, let's see. The sun card, there's a hopelessness and then there's a hope. So the sun card is about joy. So there is a sense of happiness. I think when things are good, things are very happy. Um, you give each other a lot of joy. The sun card also around fertility, children again, but this is also the card about new beginnings. And then the Empress, as I said, fertility. So maybe there is um, pregnancy or children here in the mix. Um, but also this is about clarity and understanding around how you want to expand, where you want to move next. So it's about getting on the same page. Maybe there is some doubts about whether or not you can cooperate, both of you, and there will be success in moving forward. Um, the Empress card, you know, the Empress card is about knowing your worth, knowing your value, um, and then, you know, loving yourself in a way that you can also be loved. So there just seems to be this like triggering with one another. Um, maybe, you know, there's the parts of you that don't feel worthy of being loved or have difficulty expressing your needs because you don't feel like you're worthy of having them met. Now, again, I'm not playing the blame game because I'm going to do this person's cards and I'm sure there's things that are going to come up, but it could be that there's a lot being mirrored to you that needs to be worked through so that if you have that inner harmony and that inner peace coming into your Empress energy, you may experience something different. I mean, as within, so without, okay? There's a lot of burdens here. Wow, and then a Queen of Cups in the reverse. There's burdens here because King and Queen of Cups. So the King of Cups is in the upright. The Queen of Cups is in the reverse. The Queen of Cups tends to nurture herself, nurture others more than herself. So again, Aquarius, I'm getting this energy of maybe there's a lot of harshness and frustration and tension coming from the fact that maybe you feel that you are giving too much, but you may need to re-examine the place from which you're doing that. Maybe you're giving from a place of unworthiness and seeking a lot of validation and it's like the ego has been in the driver's seat. So it's like you're doing that, you're doing that, and you're not satisfied because you're not feeling that from within. I know I'm getting quite deep here, but I'm just giving you what's coming through. But um, there's burdens there, and you might feel like you carry a lot of responsibility, so you may feel resentful for that. So maybe this is also about being honest about what you need support with. Maybe you hold back on doing that, and it, it frustrates you. Maybe you feel like the person you're dealing with is not capable of it. You find them very immature. Page of Cups in the reverse. There could be issues um, around a mother figure with the Ten of Wands and the Empress card. So this could be inherited kind of patterns or this could be wounding connected to a mum. Maybe also the person you're dealing with. That could be something dealing with someone with mummy issues. Anyway, there seems to be opportunity to get over the hurt and the pain. But there's still a lot of burdens here. So... You're way down. I, I do feel like this isn't over. It's like there's an opportunity to heal this. And I'm sure when I do the cards for this person, that's what's going to come out. But the justice card in the reverse, there's an imbalance and things need to be rebalanced. Um, there could be some legal issues, right? Um, with the justice card in the reverse. Um, marriage and divorce, that could be something that's coming up to be considered as well. I mean, if you're married, there could be the issue of can we... Can we do this? 
like there might be separation talks um, or if you're not married there might be hey, can we fix this and, and work things out because someone here feels like it's not fair so if we can balance things out then get on the same page then maybe we can really solidify this you know what I mean um, Libra energy with that justice card also Taurus Leo yeah um, I'm going to get some more on them, but I just want to say, it's what I said, eight of pentacles work. Like there's opportunity to work through things and rebalance the energies. Um, maybe you're really like holding on to the fact that you want them to make something right. I mean, there could have been, ten of swords can be, it, it is pain. Someone here might feel like the other one betrayed them because there's a five of wands type energy. And so again, I'm not really picking up so much third party energy. It could be a betrayal in another sense right dishonesty in some way holding back not being supportive um, friends or family in the mix something like that okay so let me just have a look at what's going on here with this person their feelings and intentions towards you Aquarius king of wands all right so there's some kind of an action I think that they want to take and I just saw the page of Wands. so this is an offer maybe taking things in a new direction page of swords analysis analysis and communication and I saw the four of swords in the reverse so if you're taking a break it's like they want to come out of that wow the tower the judgment card oof the six of cups in the reverse past issues need to be addressed and healed is what I'm hearing now either that's they're recognizing that and they need to do it but it's also possible on your end Aquarius I mean the judgment cards like an awakening it's an epiphany the tower card is shocks and disruption so there's something in this connection and possibly this conflict energy that has jolted something in them or triggered them the four of wands in the reverse ace of cups in the reverse the star card in the reverse so they're feeling sort of a loss of hope here okay the four of wands in the reverse so the four of wands would be the stable relationship that you're working towards or wanting to build they're not feeling like it's very stable perhaps they're not feeling very stable um, I'm feeling with the tower card this person could be going through a tower and a tower cards like a, with the judgment card this is like a spiritual epiphany but it's quite intense there's like a crashing so there's a lot that's sort of erupting for this person um, because maybe something here has really triggered something in them okay um the six of cups in the reverse so the six of cups in the reverse when there's a reverse card and we want to understand what needs to be addressed it's the five of cups so i did say to you that there is stuff that needs to be addressed from the past but i think the tower that this person is having is not so much the stuff in the past between you and them i think this is like past childhood issues or disappointments or pain that they haven't healed and the star card in the reverse is like they haven't healed it yet um, and it's led to a lack of fulfillment and maybe a lack of fulfillment in your relationship but the ace of cups in the reverse is also maybe they're having some realizations around a lack of self-love okay uh, maybe they feel that way about you as well you know you could mirror mirror each other in that way let me get a little bit about this six of cups in the reverse yeah the world card like past issues need to be closed closed out closing out cycles um, that's also the energy of like is this done you know the tower card can be that sort of dramatic ending maybe you're, you're having some kind of a tower with them now in May um, but the tower card means what's not working must go judgment card is decision so it's like okay can we fix this or do we just is it over you know we have the six of swords here in the reverse which means it isn't over yet and I don't see in May you completely moving on from one another but something big has to change and I've got the king of wands here in the upright so this is action being taken so I do think there's going to be you know this big energy now around okay what needs to be fixed what needs to be addressed this person may tell you that they need to take a step back and focus on their healing you know tell me a little bit more page of pentacles an offer for commitment ace of pentacles okay so like I said Aquarius I mean I think that there's an ace of pentacles there's an opportunity here for like really a new beginning if you're in a commitment it's a recommitment if you're not in a commitment this is a commitment right so this is a new phase rebuilding um, a stable relationship because I think that the foundations were quite shaky before 
because they were founded on past issues and hurt and pain. So this person's having that understanding that they need to work through that. It's all connected to family, 10 of cups in the reverse. Um, this person could be having a lot coming up, nine of swords in the reverse. So this is anxiety, stuff coming up in dream space, nightmares, that kind of a thing um, around maybe what, you know, maybe they're having a lot of fears and doubts about whether they can create happily ever after with you. They may not feel stable emotionally, financially, mentally with that nine of swords, but it's in the reverse. So they want to get past that. Um, they, they do want to come in. They want to make this offer to you. The justice card is in the reverse. So there is a sense that things have been imbalanced or not right or unfair. And I think maybe they're seeing an opportunity to balance it out. I mean, there seems to be a lot of work here, Aquarius. I mean, maybe I need to get advice from spirit for you on what to do. What's your advice, spirit? Chariot card. I mean, that's about positive movement forward. And the Queen of Cups I just saw, but it was in the upright. So I think, Aquarius, it's about also, you know, as I said, maybe things will be more balanced if you focus on you and what you need to do for yourself, right, in terms of setting better, better boundaries, giving yourself a bit more love. There's the Four of Cups there. So there's issues coming up for you around, well, first of all, you don't know if this is the right cup for you. And also this is maybe some issues you have around feeling emotionally rejected that are un finished the world card is in the reverse this person wants to close out old cycles they want it finished right and then i've got the judgment card so use your judgment there is a decision that needs to be made but spirit saying that you know this could be something that you need to deal with regardless of if you repair this or if you move forward into another connection the world card is our own cycles it's in the reverse so unfinished cycles with healing so and then ten of cups Wow, and then the King of Cups. Oh my God, and then the Four of Wands in the reverse. So the stability can be restored with healing and the healing specifically is around family issues. Either you have a family with this person um, as well or it's like you're both carrying a lot of family baggage, the past, okay? And so the Ten of Cups is in the reverse here, but you can have the upright Ten of Cups, but you need to really focus on the healing and the renewal and that's self-healing and then the king of cups so their advice to you is is there's a king of cups here this person does have deep feelings towards you um, but the judgment card is also connected to your own awakening so you're both going through some kind of an awakening or an epiphany and um, you have to go with what feels right and what feels good for you but it's going to be clearer when you look within right yeah, when you clear on, and I was going to say the Queen of Swords, and there it is. When you look within, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, and this is your advice. So you need to get clear on your truth, but your truth is going to be, your truth comes from truth, not from fear and ego and wounding. So that's what, what Spirit's saying. And this is about working through expressing yourself better, expressing your needs um, asking for what you need, having better boundaries, maybe giving more to yourself and not so much outside of yourself. And then I've got that King of Wands again and then the Five of Cups. So, you know, working together, I mean, King of Wands, this is an action for a king. This is someone that does want to take some kind of an action to maybe work through the past Five of Cups and let go. Um, and Eight of Wands. And there's going to be communication and conversation about that. Um, so it'll be up to you Aquarius, but yeah, I mean, I see a revival. I see opportunity here to, to heal. Let's see, <laughs> pay attention to the red flags. Well, maybe you both have red flags Aquarius, but, um, it seems to be that there's a lot going on here. I mean, the justice card in the reverse times too, it could also be that there's a lot of karma tied into this situation Aquarius. So there's karmic cycles, um, you know, and that's why you keep going around and around. So the karmic cycles end, it starts with you. Like you've got to look at what's the lesson that's being reflected back to me through this situation. And then there's finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. I did say that it's like with that four of wands in the reverse, there could be like a lack of stability. That's a concern that's causing a lot of conflict. Or oh, you could be tied up financially with this person. If you're in a relationship with them, that could be putting a strain on it. Um, or you could just be trying to focus very much on your own finances so you can feel more self-sufficient. 
free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life with forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So that's why I was saying Aquarius, even if you leave this situation and move forward, the, the freedom and freeing yourself starts with you, freeing yourself of certain patterns. And it's going to happen through forgiving and releasing, releasing and healing the past. And I said, you and this person, it's like you're holding on to things from the past. I don't think it's necessarily just what's gone on between the two of you. It's things that you've carried into the situation. So there's, there needs to be a healing and a release. Maybe you need to forgive and, and release and each other. You know, that's also okay. I don't tell you guys what to do. If you feel like this isn't right for you, free yourself. Take back control of your life and your happiness. So as I explained with that four of cups, you may find that you're not fulfilled in this situation, but it's because you need to find ways to feel fulfilled within yourself, right? To do the healing work on yourself so you're not looking outside so much to get the, the validation, um, right? Which then frustrates you. Now, again, I'm not telling you to stay in something that's not fulfilling, but you'll only be clear on it once you heal from within. Maybe there is a chance to get back on the same page here, right? Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There's a need to be honest and truthful here and just get everything out. And there is a conversation that's coming up. Okay, Aquarius. All right. I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.